Hello friends, in the previous video, we have designed a motorcycle with a gross weight of 260 kg and a top speed of 80 km per hour. In the last video, we have found the motor power as 5500 watts, that is 5.5 kW. Now, the continuation of that calculation. How to calculate the BLDC motor RPM, motor torque and maximum torque of an electric motorcycle? So first, we can find the wheel RPM. So in the figure, it is shown the diameter on the radius of the wheel. Let us take the diameter of the motorcycle wheel as a 0.432 meter. Radius of motorcycle wheel is 0.216 meter. Therefore, the circumference of the wheel is 2 pi r. We'll be getting 1.357 meter. That is, for one revolution of wheel, it covers 1.357 meter. This picture clearly shows the wheel rotation for one revolution of the wheel we will be getting 1.357 meter the distance it covers we have take on the top speed of the motorcycle is 80 km per hour we can convert it into meter per minute we will be getting 1333.33 meter per minute it means when a motorcycle drives at a speed of 80 km per hour it will be reached 1333.33 meters for one minute the maximum wheel rpm is given by the formula the ratio between the distance reached per minute at top speed to the distance covered by wheel for one revolution so substituting these values you'll be getting the maximum wheel rpm as 982.55 rpm let us find out the motor rpm the motor RPM we can find by the formula sprocket ratio into wheel RPM. This picture clearly shows the driver sprocket that is motor sprocket and driven sprocket that is wheel sprocket. This picture also shows the real time view of the motor and the wheel connected with the driver and driven sprocket with the help of a chain drive. We can find the sprocket ratio. By the given formula number of teeth in wheel sprocket divided by number of teeth in motor sprocket 44 divided by 12 will be getting 3.66 then we can easily find out the motor rpms 3.66 into 982.55 the motor rpm will be getting 3596.13 rpm let us find out the motor torque we know that the power the formula is given by 2 pi nt by 60 the power we have found already in the last video 5500 watts equal to 2 pi the rpm motor rpm is 3596.13 we'll be getting the torque 14.60 newton meter next we can find the maximum torque required to move the motorcycle we know that the newton's law of motion v is equal to u plus 80 where v is the final velocity of the motorcycle in meter per second u is the initial velocity of the motorcycle in meter per second a is the acceleration of motorcycle in meter per second square t is the time taken to reach the maximum speed from the rest of the motorcycle in seconds so let me take the velocity final velocity of the motorcycle is 80 km per hour we can convert it into meter per second by multiplying with 1000 by 3600 will be getting 22.22 meter per second u is the initial velocity equal to zero that is the vehicle is at rest t is the time taken 7 seconds to reach 0 to 80 km per hour after substituting in this formula we will be getting the acceleration of the motorcycle as a 3.17 meter per second square so this figure clearly shows the torque required to move the vehicle initially requires the force multiplied with the distance from the center of rotation that is nothing but the radius of the wheel so for finding out the force required to move the vehicle f is equal to mass in the acceleration equal to 260 multiplied with 3.17 the force required to move the vehicle is 824.2 newton the maximum torque required to move the motorcycle equal to force into radius of the wheel as I have shown in the figure. 
So after substituting, we'll be getting the maximum torque required to move the motorcycle as 178.0 to Newton meter. Thank you.